No champion in the whole history of Formula 1 has won a championship without winning at least one race. So today I'm going to make this happen. It's like a 15 point turn. Oh, my genius is it's almost frightening. Hey, Drake! I'm getting really sick of you! I can't, it's broken! It's broken! So we've come to Spain and we've had an okay start to the season. We haven't had an amazing start, mostly because of Perez and he keeps winning every single race. Even though we're starting from the back and we're having comfortable races, finishing in P2, it does seem like Perez is at his A game, especially with the red flags which keep happening in the first two races as well. So we come into Spain, let's hope we have a good weekend and Perez has a shocker of a weekend. This is disgusting! <laughs> so Spain was a shocking weekend and we finished in P6 and it does seem like Perez is getting away from us but I have one trick in my book it's that I'm in control of the upgrades on this Red Bull and I've decided to hold the upgrades until the end of the season just to stop Perez getting away from us but as we finished Spain in the mid part of the season we hit some pretty good form and Perez form started to dip a little we managed to squeeze the championship down ever so slightly but now we had the Italian Grand Prix and now I tell you this was probably one of the craziest races I've ever had on the Formula 1 game, which include a four-way battle for the win on the last few laps. And down the inside! I'm, I'm actually buzzed. This shows for Pokey release. So that was a craziest race. Everything happened, which could happen. We had Sainz losing it on the final corner, which unfortunately left Perez going into P3. And we didn't have as much points as we would like over Perez, but that doesn't matter. We're going into the final two races, tied points with Leclerc and 19 points behind Perez. So it's a three-way battle for this championship going into Brazil and Abu Dhabi and we also have in Brazil a sprint race so which means I probably won't start in last for the real race on Sunday and we have good opportunity to get points over Perez in three races until the end of the season. No! 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 And down the inside! What a move! Light work, no reaction. Ooh. So we've had Leclerc bottling the championship pretty much in Brazil. He can still win it, but it looks like he most likely will not win it. It is five points between me and Perez going into the final race. And with Perez starting in P6 after a poor qualifying, I think we have a very good chance to win this championship without winning a single race. We've been waiting for this all season long. The finale, the title decider, under the lights here in Abu Dhabi. It's lights out, away we go. to fight to keep that second place wow my stomach is tight so it's very nerve-wracking going into the last few laps of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix we're in P2 but Perez is in P4 and that is just about enough points to win the championship but however Sainz is out of the Grand Prix after an engine problem and that means Perez is into P3 and that will not be enough to win the championship so we're going to do some dirty tactics and do a Hamilton of 2016 
and slow down Perez and hopefully maybe Norris can get that P3 going into the last couple of laps. It's come down to the wire. His teammate hasn't played the team game, but he's surviving. Far enough back, he's going to make the lunge down the inside. Now snatches the championship trophy. Who's trying to fight back? He's now got he's going to go down the outside. Can't fucking believe is about to see the chequered flag and the podium finish that he needed. But we finally did it. We finally won the championship without winning a single race in the whole season. It was a long and hard season, but we eventually did get P1 over Perez.